We are now live with Takur, channeled by Jim, and he has some important message and nice information for everyone. So I will let Takur speak for about 10 minutes what she want to say. So go ahead, Takur. Thank you. I am Takur. I am from the ship that is circling your North American continent. I am a Lyran and I am here to introduce you to Human Colony. I think it is important that there is some introduction to what is happening for those of you that are new. Please be advised that I am not going to go into great detail, but that I will just bring the basic facts about Human Colony to you. First of all, let me speak about the site. It is an interactive site, and it does have many options. And so if you roam around, you will see all the different options that there are. And I will be able to help you understand them better. There are many videos on the site that will enlighten you and make you amused as well. But the important part is that it helps humanity rise and ascend. The information there is for this purpose. Now, I will now go into the off-world human colonies. You will see on the site that there are places to sign up for human colony off-world. If you would like to visit the colonies and attend our classes and be in the different areas, you are welcome. Also, if you would like to give DNA uh, or receive DNA, that is also welcome. If you give DNA, that usually means that you would like a hybrid child. If you receive DNA, that usually means that you want some of the benefits of having DNA from a different species. Now, on the off world, we take those that want to come by way of astral projection, we take your spirit from your body. You are still alive, of course, but you will be there on the, on the ship doing whatever it is that you have asked to do. Or, or if you haven't asked, we will give you a position on the ship, such as in Colony 1. It is, a, it is learning classes for telepathy and galactic languages. Learn, yes, Te tele telepathy and galactic languages are taught on Colony 1. Also on Colony 1, there is the crystal room, and it has many different aspects and uses for the crystals, and you can feel the energies and colors of them there, and also stones and their meanings, likenesses, and what they can do. And how you can intention them and clean them, etc. On Colony 2, on the off-world, is our health colony, where those people have dietetic needs or health needs or exercise needs. You can go there and become part of the programs that is most necessary for you and bring them back in your subconscious so that they help you with your diets, exercises, and all the things that are healthy for human beings. There is a swimming pool there. There is many different workout areas. And there are several teachers of all species, even earthlings, humans if you prefer. And they are very, very happy to help you and assist you with gaining a greater perspective on your health. Colony number three is where the videos are being made that are being sent to Earth to help with people who want to learn more about first contact and about different species and about understanding that we are actually here and not harmful. There are those that are harmful, but it is not us. So we are developing many different kinds of videos with humans and different species such as Yuyil and Pleiadian 
Octorian Lyran uh, individuals in these different videos that will help explain what we are doing and why we are here. This is a great need. We have several people from Earth actually working in this colony to help with this great need because the Earth needs to be educated a little before we arrive. And they need to know a little about, about who we are and a little bit about how not to be afraid and what protocols will be in place when we do arrive. So that is a very important colony also because it is informative to the earth. Colony number four is the channeling colony. This is one of the most important colonies because it teaches those of you with the talents of channeling how to be more effective, more focused, and keep the messages clearer. Now, this area is also for those that are not channeling yet, but you have a great potential uh, for it, especially those that have a great potential for it for the near future, meaning that we believe that they will start channeling within six to months to a year. So some of you do come to this colony and are welcomed and are taught how to become better channelers, how to uh, bring in species that are only positive and how to recognize the difference between the two and how to resonate with the fact that you are actually channeling and it is not part of your personality. The other part is that you will resonate with those entities that will not be able to come into you or should not be able to come into you. So they are those that are malevolent and they are those that mean harm and you will not want to bring those in. We are also teaching how to not let them in and how to resonate to bring in the certain powerful and positive ones. That is the basics of the first four. The fifth is an entertainment colony. There are some times when those people come to the colonies that they become nervous or apprehensive, perhaps even suspicious. So we send them to an area where they are calmed down, made to laugh, understand, listening to soft music, or perhaps a band, or a comedian, or something of this sort. We found it necessary that this makes a lot of humans feel a lot more comfortable in their surroundings. And therefore, there are many things around there that for humans, as well as cafeterias and food and, and conversation areas and things of social engagement so that they can engage socially with those of their own kind and of other kinds if they so do prefer. We prefer that you would engage with as many different species as possible even though you do not know all the protocols they are willing to accept you because they understand that you are new to the colonies. We also want you to know that sometimes there are needs for you to be part of the teaching or part of the assembly of people that are working on the colonies. There are those of you that come and do work on the colonies because you have a certain expertise that we may need in a certain area. This you agree to if you come and we ask you and you agree to it. If you do not agree, that is fine. But we would hope that you would allow yourself to be able to help us and work with us. We are very happy that we are involved with you. We are very happy that you are wonderful and good people for the most part. Looking down on the planet, you only see a lot of the negative things. However, we know there is much positivity there as well. I am especially fond of the people that are speaking to me from Human Colony. They are wonderful, heart-filled people and give me much respect and I respect you as well. 
Right now, I just wanted to explain to you and give you a little introduction to what the colonies are like and why we have them. We are teaching humanity how to rise in a much quicker manner, faster because it is necessary to keep this timeline in order, necessary because it is inevitable that you survive for the greater good of the galaxy. We would love to welcome you into the galaxy politics one day in the near future, but without your becoming telepathic, it makes it much more difficult. And without your world being in sync with one another, it also makes it more difficult. Your governments do uh, cause us great difficulty, but I am sure it's only under protection of themselves and others. So we do understand that, but it is difficult to work with at times. I love you all very dearly, and I hope that you are very well at this time. And I would like to welcome you to Human Colonies, both the site where you can be interactive and to the off-world site where you can also be interactive, but in a different way. You will be taught and you will be helped to rise in your spirit and in your fourth dimensional energies. Thank you so much for listening to this brief over, overview of the different things that I wanted to speak of. I just felt it was necessary because some come in are, and are confused about what human colonies really are. And this will give them a slight help and they can ask questions to the other members and find out more. I will give you much love and blessing. Namaste. Thank you so, so much, Taker, for everything you have done and experienced. And it's an amazing experience. And we, we wish from Human Colony side to bring in the best of every people and allow everybody to flow as easily as they can with our group. So Thank you. with the Human Colony website, it's something we created down here on Earth, with a little bit help. By, was created by Max Steinberg Rempel. So or we, Rempel, so we, as he prefers. But he created the idea of it the way it is set up now. There was human colonies before, but they were not set up like this. They are now set up in a way that fits Earth's needs much more adequately. And so we, so we thank Dr. Steinberg Rempel for this. Yes, and I also want to share that you don't need to be a member of the website to join the colonies in space. That's freely up true. for you. If you yeah. wish to interact with other people on our website, you're free to do it. And you don't have to apply to the go to colonies even on our website. But it could, could be easier to apply through the website. Is that true, Takar? Yes. Our application is something for the worldly side of it. The off-world portion does not matter. We do not care if you are a member or not. If you sign up to be, go to the colonies and we find that you are a worthy subject for that, then you will be taken and only with your permission. I thank you so much and for the help and support and allowing humanity to create the colonies together with you instead of you creating the colonies for us. We appreciate your input. Yes, we are going off air now. If you don't have a last thing to say, Tucker. Namaste and be well, all of you. And I hope to visit you at the colonies and see you there. Thank you.